not man. We thank you for your mercy that have brought us again together to hear from you and not from man. So therefore, Lord God, I pray that you come and take over the pulpit. So I step down that you step in. I step out that you step in. I step, I, I decree that you increase me. Lord, I bring myself and every one of us before you. Every sin that I be recorded against us from my mother soon to this very point. I ask for mercy as we dip ourselves in the pool of your blood right now, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I pray, arrest our heart and speak to us yourself. Every ascent minded spirit, divided mind, wanderingness, and all the enemies of your world, I hold them bind in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you because your mercy has prevailed over judgment, Lord. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Romans chapter 3, verse 12. Romans chapter 3, verse 12. The Bible tells me and you and says, in verse 12. They are all gone out of the way. They are all, they are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that they are all gone as straight. And to God be the glory, both me here and you that is listening, we are all under God. So we, for this, we have the topic that says this morning, are you see profitable? Are you still profitable to God? Is your work still profitable again before God? This, does the law still take delight in that work you are doing for Him? Does the law still say, ah, yes, I am well pleased in the work that you are doing for Him? Underline that particular play that says, they are together become unprofitable. The question to me now that is standing here speaking by the mercy of God, am I still profitable to God? Does the Lord see take delight in the work I am doing, even this preaching that I'm doing now. So, I will advise myself before the message finish. After the message, go by yourself and meet your God and ask him after the message. I have been doing, I will still do by the grace of God. Are you still profitable to God? He said they are all gone out of their way. But the something is that, or the question is that, what is those things that make one unprofitable to God? How can one become unprofitable? In the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 26, let's see what the Lord said in, from verse 38 to 46. Then you will get the message very well. Matthew 26, I read from verse 38. Then said he unto them. Matthew 26, I start from 38. 
Then said he unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me, nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. 40. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them, find them asleep. And say unto Peter, what, what could ye not watch with me one hour? 30, 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is really, but the flesh is weak. 30, 42. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my father. If this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, that will be done. And he came and find them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. 44. And he left them, I paraphrase now, again, and went away again and prayed. The third time now, say the same words. What was the same way? As you know, day 45, they came, cometh he to his disciples and said unto them, get the message now, sleep on and take your rest. Behold, the hour is already, I, I, I paraphrase now, it's already at time. What I wanted you to join me to pray for. It's already happening. There's no need again. Continue now. The time I needed you, you, you refused to join me. And the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. 46. Rise. Let us be going. Rise now. Don't worry. I am not telling you not to come. Get up again to join me to pray anymore. Already the day is done. Get up now. Let just come. Just go with me. Let's go. The what I needed you for is already at hand. So there is no need of your prayer anymore. Behold, he is at hand that doeth between me. Everybody, including me, that is talking by the grace that the Lord is speaking through, all of us are ordained for the work of the kingdom of God. Everybody has his own his or her own ministry. No matter who you are, as far you name the name of Christ, you have a ministry. As far as you name the name of Christ, you are in a particular office. As far as you are a Christian, you are sitting in an office that I cannot see. That is why, for you to understand, that is why the Bible says, everyone shall give what an account of what he or she what did. Why? Because you have been a computer has been given to you in your in one you, a seat, computer, everything has been given to you to work on. Yeah, this is your office. Or you have been monitoring the whole thing now. After the whole thing, come and give account. You must not think, I must not think that it is only you. Maybe the general of us here is the one that has office. No, you have your own too. As far as you have the name of Christ's name, you, you are in an office. But the question now, are you still profitable to God? The, uh, some days ago, uh, in divine inspiration, we hear about woke up. Many of us have refused to wake up from our sleeping and slumber. We are now enlightened our bed. 
The time God is saying, do this, we say, Lord, let me, I will do it later. Peter, get up and join me to pray. I am in, I am in sorrow this time. In, I am in a strong agony. Please help my disciples. Join me to pray. They were, they sleep on. Their eyes were heavy. And when the deal was done, what did they eat? Do not trouble them again. I don't need your prayer anymore. What I want now, where I took you from to join me to pray. Come on now, let's go back there. Is, what, is that what the Lord is saying to you? Or those, I am still standing at the pulpit preaching. Is uh, my still profitable to God? Is the questioner. Listen to me. I may still preach and preach well. I want myself to know if there is a particular word God gave to me that he expects me to do for him daily. And I am failing in that area. No matter how I shout, I am on my own. No matter how, maybe he said every day you must go to evangelism. And I am not doing it. And I come to people, I shout, and everybody further, I am unprofitable to him. It doesn't take the light anymore. Maybe he said every morning, Every day you must pray thrice to me, and I only pray once or two. Every other thing I do, it doesn't concern him anymore. He's uh, it's not looking at me as unprofitable servant. He that went and dug his talent in the head on the earth. Are you unprofitable? Despite you see sing very well and so alamety at your singing. Have you asked God? Am I still profitable? Remember, Judas is Carol was working with Jesus Christ, even to the time he was arrested. But or not to Judas is Carol, he was already all profitable servant. He was already all profitable disciple. Every other thing that he was doing, God was already looking at him with another eye. That's why he was still named among what the disciple. He was still, he does still can't want to say, okay, let all the disciples of Jesus Christ come. Let us come. They will still can't Judas is cut at that particular time. But before God, it's no longer in number. Are you still in number? Am I still in number? It's a question. What happened to the book in the book of uh, Let's go to the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15. First book chapter of Samuel 15, we read from verse 23 to 26. And the Bible tells me, are you, from, I, I read 23 to 26. For rebellious is as the seed of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he had also rejected thee from being king. And Saul said unto Samuel, I have seen, for I have trespassed the commandment of the Lord. And I went because I feared the people and obeyed their, their voice. Now, therefore, I pray thee, pardon my sin and turn again with me, that I may worship the Lord. 26, and Samuel said unto Saul, I will not return with thee, for thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. And the Lord has rejected thee from being king over Israel. I want to ask myself now, after Samuel told this one to Saul, was Saul not still a king? Was he not still remaining a king? Was he not still going to battle and coming back, winning, going to battle, and he will wait and he will win and return until he was finally dead, dead? Yes. But they told him now, you are already a rejected king. But into the Israelite, he was still known as a king. He still went to, if the Israelite is going to battle, he's still the one that is leading them because he's what is a king. 
but it was already rejected by God. What is that word that the Lord has given to you? You see what he said in verse 23. For rebellious is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and adultery. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected you from being king. Why? Disobedient. Are you, don't you know you are a disobedient child? When the Lord said to you, this is what you will be doing for me. But you will never do it. Is that not what what name else will you give to that or something? I want to tell you, my dear, when you are being assigned to do work in the house of God, maybe I want to say this because this is what God laid in my mouth to say. The very day I come and a portion or I have been ordained as a as, as a worker in the very yard. If I still keep on thinking that whatever I do, I am doing it for the man who God used to put me there, I am just joking. I am just wasting my time. Let me do this to please him. I am on my own. I am wasting my own time. If I think, I hate, if I do not do it, I, he will not leave. Or she will not leave. I am just wasting my time. Question is, are you still a king? Are you still having a staff of office in your hand? The staff of office that the Lord gave to you, where is it? For example, they ask you to come to prayer in agreement and you agree, but you are not there. Are you still um, are you still profitable? Look at prayer guide now. It's not as it was before. As those that are that are doing the, the edit of the prayer guide. They are short of prayer guide now because of what many have withdrawn back. And they are still singing. They are still doing whatever they are doing, still going to evangelism. And that what God is taking the light on, oh, they are no longer doing it. And they thought they are still profitable. That is why I ask, I told, I told you and I said to it myself, after the message, go and talk to your God and say, God, am I still profitable? You think if you are be ordained as a chorister, and you think you are doing the, the leader when you don't come to practice and you don't care to give any message. You think if you do not go to practice, the, the, the leader will be crying. You are, you are, you are it's not left for you. Our staff office are being given to you. It's not left for you to do what, to write on sleeping or walk up and do your work. Are you still unprofitable? I mean, are you still profitable to God? Where is your first love for Jesus? The evangelism or whatever you do for God that God takes delight on, that you don't do anymore, where is it? Are you still profitable? Are you, the reason why you complain now is because you have become more profitable to God or not to you. The reason why you think you are still profitable, let me tell you, is because when you still handle mic and you, you sing and wait to fall down, that is why you think you are still profitable. The reason why I still think I am profitable, maybe I still preach message and people are lamenting, that is why I think I'm still profitable. Saul so was thinking that he was still profitable when he go to battle and win and return. But I'm not to him. He was not. No matter who you are, it does not. Thank God, the Bible tells us the book of Acts of Apostles that God is of have no respect for anybody. If you like, you do the work He gave to you. If you like, don't do it. 
talking to myself because if i if if truly i'm not talking to myself i would not be calling on god for this message for some that time now for messing so if he, the message is for you as is for me take it and walk with it that is it are you still profitable that's bad now listen to this many of us now listen to this the day you will have you will you know you are going to sing for example the day you know you are going to preach that is where you come to meeting quick you come on time when you know you are having something to do in the house of god tomorrow you will pray lord please oh, you know i am doing something tomorrow please wake me up on time but the day you will not do something you don't tell god to wake you on time of deceiving yourself and not what not man none that the worst of all is that all the daily work the daily activity now we are by is not that hey you slept off and let that continue for i will join later but when you want to do your when you know you are having assignment that time you are the first person to come are you still profitable you cannot deceive god but you can deceive man. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is the Lord telling me and you to sleep on on our sleeping bed now? Is he still telling? Is he telling me preach on your pretty? Hey, sing on, evangelize on, pray on. But the one I I take the light most. You are not doing it, so you are already unprofitable to me. Is that what God is saying? They will come for prayer, you will not call. Are you, you think you are doing any man? You go and ask God oh, if you are doing any man. Or you are doing yourself. It's a question. Ask that. I need you lead to ask yourself. You know, one thing I bless God for in this matter. When you find out that, you see in that Romans, he said they are all gone what as straight. They are all hey. What am I trying to say? One thing I give God glory for. If you see that some people are getting it wrong, you quickly come with one thing or the other to straight to put them right. And we are privileged for this. And but if we take it for granted, I, I pity myself in you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible tells me on you. In the book of Genesis, chapter 6, verse 6. Genesis 6, verse 6. You have a prayer group. You have an assignment in the house of God. Genesis, chapter 6, verse 6. He said, And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and he grieved him at his, earth, as in, at his heart. Is the Lord, is the Lord, be grieved because of you now. Have they repented the Lord of, of ordaining you into that office? Have they repented the Lord of the work of evangelism? He said, this is what I ordain you for. This, uh, uh, has they repented the Lord of making you an intercessor? Have they repented Paid the Lord of making you the wife of that minister. Have we paid? Have we, I mean, have we repaid the Lord of making you a husband to that person? Have we repaid the Lord of giving you that child? Ask yourself, am I still profitable? You call, you call for prayer in the day, you will not be there. You call for in the afternoon, in the night, midnight, you will not be there. No problem. I thank God for myself. I mean, I thank God for God that is everybody that is going to stand on his own. Nobody will stand for me. Nobody I will stand for. It's not left for me if I should do my work. If it's not left for me, if I should sleep, sleep on. Is that what God is saying to you? 
O oh God. Have we grieved the Lord of creating you, of making you a choir leader, of making you a chorister, of making you a minister, of making you a pastor, of making you whatever you think you are? Have we repented the Lord? Is the Lord regretting of putting you there? Is the Lord re, 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 regretting of making you a member of Martin or Solution or of that particular church you are going? What have I done? Why, why did I? Oh, I could have, I see sister so 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 I would have I, I put this sister there instead of this one now. Look at what this one did to me. Is that what God is saying? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible tells me, are you in the book of Jeremiah chapter 3? Jeremiah 3. I read from verse 20. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible tells me, surely, as a wild crest of the departed from her husband. So have you dead treacherously with me? Oh, house of you that put your name there. Oh, Sam, see, see the law. A voice was heard upon the high places, weeping and supplications of the children of Israel, for they have perverted their way and they have forgotten the Lord their God. Return, the Lord is talking to you at I now. Return, you bad spirit children, and I will hear your 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 backsliding. Behold, we we come unto thee, for thou art the Lord our God. The Lord is telling me now: Go and do your first work. Return back to that office I gave to you. He's telling me now: Repent of your sins. He's telling me now, all oh, you that have went back, you that is no longer doing the work, the Lord asks you before, pray, you will pray three hours a day. Now you are praying one hour, you are backsliding. He's talking to you now. Yes, he's talking to you now. Will you and I return to our office? Are we still profitable? Sister, Brother, are we still profitable? See what he said to me and you in Isaiah 5, verse 4. Isaiah 5, verse 4. The Lord test, he said, in verse 4, he said, what, what could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I look that, look, that it should bring forth grapes, brought forth white grapes. Can you see? Where the Lord <laughs> let me go, I believe, I believe my son now, he, 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 I think I believe that he, I'll be praying now. He's in that street now doing evangelism. And when they find out that you are on your bed, see what he said. Where I am expecting this, expecting grape, I'm, I find that another thing. Is that what God is saying? I read again. What could have been done more to my vanya? To you now, that person, put your name, that I have not done in it. I have ordained you. I have given you office, which is a privilege. Listen, every work you see yourself doing, ask yourself, am I qualified? Was I qualified for it? No, I, I was never qualified for whatever I see myself doing. It's a privilege. It's a mercy of God that has put me in this pulpit now, saying what I'm allowing God to speak to me. It's not because I am qualified. The Lord said in the book of Corinthians, First Corinthians, I say, What do you have that was not God given to you? So it's a privilege. Whatever we see, we are able to do. In the vineyard of God, let us do it well because you are never qualified for it. I have never qualified for it at all. If it is by certificate, 
Till I die, I will be here where I am now. I tell you the truth. I say it again. If it is by qualification, where I am now, I will never be here until I leave this world. But because of privilege, mercy, I am here. And do I still in this time want somebody to come and be pushing me first as a car that, that is edging is long before I do what I need to do? Do I still need to wait for that person? Even Do I still need my wife to come and push me first before I do it? I am just, I, I, I am wasting my time if I should do that. I, oh, maybe I need my, oh, my children to gather their hands together and come and drag me. I am wasting my time. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And quickly, because of time, I take Revelation chapter 2, verse 5. Revelation chapter 2, verse 5. He said, Remember, therefore, is, is advising me now. Maybe he's advising you too. Where's, from where thou are fallen? Samson. I repent. And do the first words. Or else. I will come unto thee quickly. I will remove the candlestick out of his place. Except thou repent. Hear it. This is how a loving father could talk to his, his children that he loves. The breath we have is the mercy of God. Now. Why not we sit down and find and look all the work we are doing for the Lord and see where we are missing? And see the one we are no longer doing. We are we are now holding. Listen, the work of God must not be held with back hand. But it's a pity that many of us are holding most of the work of God with our back hand. Whatever I put, I hold here now. It cannot be so strong the way I, I hold it with here. So the Lord is telling me, are you? Hold my work with your palm, not your back hand. Know where you are falling and repent. Do what? Why? If you say this, or oh, else I will come and take that staff of office from you. Because he took it from Saul. That was why the destruction of Saul came upon him. If you and I must not allow this destruction of God to fall on us. Because more that stuff that is, is delight in you is removed. You are already gone. And you and I must not allow God to take our staff of office. Because it will be, it will be terrible. The Lord will help me. The Lord will help you. Give me and you the grace to make him happy again. Give us the grace to return from that gap. Because if we must not allow God to replace us. So. Sorry to quickly say the one that I wish you read. You can read First Samuel 16 verse 1. What did the Lord say to Samuel? Samuel, uh, stop weeping for this man. Take this oil. Oh, no, I don't take the light on him. Take this oil. Oh, Go to so 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 and so and anoint that person for me. Don't allow God to anoint somebody else in your position. So was still there, he came, but somebody was already anointed. If you allow that, there's no revisal. You will see that God revised that one also. He never revised it. Is to the, the end. So don't allow God to annoy somebody in your position. 
don't allow God to replace you. I'm talking to myself because if God replaced me, replace you, it's ever finished. There's no remedy. There was no remedy after you anointed David. Don't push God to anoint somebody in your instead. And so did. Because no revise. God is God. His word is what? Yes and amen. And the Lord forgive me, forgive you, and help us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. amen. I want you to talk to God. If the Lord has talking to you as you have done to me this morning. And say, Father, Anywhere I have become unprofitable to you, forgive me. I am sorry. I will behave now as a prodigal son. I will become, I want to do now as a prodigal son did. I'm coming back. I am coming back to you. Thank God to have mercy on you. Anywhere I become unprofitable in your very heart, God, have mercy on me. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, Amen Father, Father, Lord Jesus. I give you the praise, the glory, the honor. Amen, Father, please have mercy. There will come anyone be unable un un to you, Father. Anywhere Lord Jesus, I'm sorry, Lord Jesus. Please have mercy. I'm going to give anyone to you, Father. I'm sorry, Lord Jesus. Please have mercy for me. Please have mercy for me. Anywhere I'm I'm to you, Father. Please have mercy on me. I'm sorry, Lord Jesus. Please have mercy on me. I'm to you, Father. Please have mercy on me. I'm sorry, Father. Please have mercy on me. I'm to you, Father. I'm sorry, Lord Jesus. I need your mercy. Jesus. Please have mercy on me. I'm sorry, Lord Jesus. I have Able to you. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to pray one prayer for us. I heard my spirit. Some of you don't even know your position anymore. Some of you don't even know your position again. Except the Lord drag you back to your position. You don't even know it again. We are you have forgotten it long time ago. You are not busy doing whatever you like. You don't even know where God wants you to be again. So therefore, I want us to pray. I say, Lord, drag me to my position. That original position that I have led, that I don't even know again. I'm not jumping here, jumping there, thinking that is my position. Father, please hold me by your hand and drag me back to the original position where I was being profitable to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Amen. for me i want this message is so touching i don't know about you i want us to pray the man of god through the holy spirit said sorry the holy spirit from uh, to the man of God, uh, man of God, he said, if 
David is anointed on your instead. There's no reverse again. If you allow God to anoint somebody in your position, the anointing is already given. It's, there's nothing you can do. Even if you cry and repent, the Bible says, um, uh, no, uh, Jacob, Esau, Esau diligently seek God and cry, but yet the Lord did not reverse it. His, his position had been taken already. Some of us are like that. Your position that they give it to somebody else already. No matter what you do, not cry and weep. Never, the Lord will never do that for you again. But this is, there is a way out. What is that way out? Lord, recreate me. Recreate me. And create another position for me because it will never give you that one again. We create me and create another brand new position for me and start a new beginning with me now. That will touch me so much. When the anointing is given to somebody, you're still, there's nothing you can do. Cry and weep. Never. Never. Because if you take it from that person, that means that other person will go to hell there. That person that came and replaced you, if you put that person away again and put you there, that means that person is doomed and God will never allow it. So what do we do? Lord, recreate me. Give me a brand new beginning. I said I've never done anything before. Give me a brand new office, oh God. And give me an opportunity to start a brand new with you from this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. I am dying here. I am crying here. But God is faithful to deliver me this morning. In the name of you. Amen. And the Father, Lord Jesus, I give you the praise, the glory, the glory. Lord Jesus, please be created, me, Lord Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, Lord Jesus, please be created, me, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, Lord Jesus, please be created, me, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, please. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, 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 a brand new position, a brand new position, a brand new position, a brand new a brand new position, a brand new position, a brand new position, a brand new a brand new <laughs> this can you tell us what um um for saying now that we should pray about. Yes, sir. I'm hearing you know, this bad chip, bad chip, this bad chip of a uh, yeah, bad chip came. They know that that one was by choice. It's either you take it or you will not take it. And that one did not serve for them. They are coming now with this vaccine. This one is the brand new, and you will take it or die. Let me say this now to everyone of us today. A day is coming, they will tell you from 18 years, you must take the vaccine, or they'll tell you you want to spread, you want to spread the disease, or you go to jail for not taking it. Please quickly remember today. What is today's date? 2022. Let everybody write it down. A day is coming. There will be law. You, you either take the vaccine or they count you as an enemy of the people to spread the disease 
they're going to lock you up in the prison. That is it. You must take the vaccine and become who they want you to be. Or you all they sentence you to prison that you may not come out of. And a warning is coming now. You rather go to prison for your sake, for the sake of your soul. You would rather go to prison. They rather kill you than take the vaccine. It's a warning. Let everybody prepare ourselves now. This vaccine will be made compulsory. They will make it compulsory. Every adult must take it from 18 years upward. As they will labor you as disease spreader. We will labor that you want to you want to pollute the, the, the country. They have they have done everything to make sure this is gone. You want to be want to spread it, so you go to jail for it. How many of us are ready here to go to jail? <laughs> oh, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. This vaccine is for the pit of hell. One world government has started now. That one world government we have been talking about, it has just started now. This world will never, ever, ever remain the same again. We are now living a different world entirely. The persecution, the day that we have been waiting for has just come. If you think maybe at this man has started again, he just is talking on his own. Don't worry. The day we have been expecting, the time that they said, um, uh, uh, Jacob's trouble, persecution. Uh, this is the time that the Lord will quickly come and take his children away. Those who we, we patient endure. So please, I'm begging myself, I'm begging you, don't take the vaccine. I know they are hearing me now. This is on YouTube. Those of us who are saying don't take it, they will we are we they will come for us. So please I'm begging everyone here, don't say you did not hear. And don't foolishly go and say, okay, go, let me go and test myself for vaccine. Don't go. I mean for what, what's called? Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Don't don't even try it. You go without it, you get, go there to give it to you. And if they just see that you are a Christian, they see this, the, the mark of Christian in you, you are doomed. They will just give it to you and finish you. So please, don't go for the testing. I know they are hearing me now. Don't go for the testing. And again, don't even, even at all try the vaccine at all. All this is that, 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 that is, is a plan work. It has been planned and they have seen now that it's work. They can, they can actually easily control the whole nation at the same time. They have seen that through this now. It's easy to control everybody. They thought it's going to be hard. Through this disease, they are finding that to control, to bring the same law in UK, in America, all over the world, and everybody obey. They have seen that it's, 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 it's workable. One law, stay at home in the whole world, and it's, it's, it's working. One law, the old school closed at the same time, everybody obey. The one world government now, they have seen now that it is workable. The next phase now is to make the law to, for the vaccine to be compulsory for all the adults. And uh, they know the children will, will surely come to adults one day. That's why the Bible says, and everyone that dwells upon the earth to the mark. Now you will know that some people who die for through, through the coronavirus will be better than some of us that do not die. Those that the coronavirus killed and they died in holiness, they will be better than some of us that, will, that, will, that they, will, they will help through the vaccine. And once it enter your blood, enter your body, your DNA is finished, everything is finished, you can never become a baby again. 
and that place is doomed. This, this is a warning from above. I'm begging myself, don't take the vaccine. Don't take it. It's better we all go to jail. Go straighten us. Go empower us. All that the Bible have talked about, all that we are hearing, it has finally come now. The great tribulation has just started. A rapture can take place at any time. I should not let my heart fail me. Those who the heart are failed, that their heart is no more with God, cannot make it rapture. Let us be strong. Let us be courageous. Let us go back to our work that the Lord has given to us. Let's do everything now to make to make our way right with Him. Because the days of this earth are not bad. And the devil's time to reign, to rule. The day of that, that son of perdition has finally come. Finally come. And I pray that will help me, help my wife, help you, help our entire family to stand in this odd a dark time. The whole world is dark now. No more light again. The whole world is a thick darkness. And the only way you and I can ever slight again is when we leave this world and make it to heaven. I pray. Those who want to pray, go back to their, to their prayer room. Those of us who, because the school have closed up, everything have closed up, we have also closed up our prayer altar. Go back now and open a prayer altar and start praying again. That is the only help, the only hope we have. Prayer, 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 prayer. God help you, help me. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Are you out there? You have you have heard. You want to be the group the Lord is talking to. Why not confess your say now that it's not too late for you? And the Lord will forgive you and show you mercy as He's showing to us now. Because to whom those in love is chastising now. If you want to be among those, it's just rising. Why not give your life to Jesus Christ? And after which you have done, if you need baptism or cancel it, come please call on the men of God on this mountain. And the Lord will use them for his own glory for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for your word that has come. Thank you for your message, uh, for your message that you have shared again this morning. We thank you for allowing us again to know before time what we need to know. Lord, for thy strength shall no man prevail. But we thank you because we have you on our side. Lord, at a time like this, you are ever needed. Strengthen each, each and every one of us. And I know the only way that you can defend us if, is if we return to our position. Where you are telling us now that we are no more profitable. But I thank you because today, henceforth, we all shall be profitable to you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Father, have I had it to your word also threatened? I beg for mercy. Is there anyone that was angry because of the war? Have mercy on them as, as well. Remember when they call you, say, Father, forgive them for they know not what we are doing. We don't know what we are doing. That is why. Pardon our iniquity and let mercy prevail by judgment for us all. This one that have come upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today we receive grace never to give up our cross for any reason. We receive grace never to give up your name for any reason. Lord, 
thank you because we make it. Because you are with us. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.